is Joey Clem. I am a real life biker. I still ride Triumph motorcycles. Oh, I'm nice. a genuine greaser, even back in the 1960s, long before Susie ever wrote the novel, The Outsiders. And I am a genuine outsider, just like I portrayed myself as a greaser biker in the knife fight scene in the movie, The Outsiders. I started my career on stage as a professional stage actor. And I was doing a show here in Tulsa and I portrayed myself as a greaser, biker. My jacket is on display here in the museum. Okay. I donated it to the museum because I had that TV episode <laughs> and it didn't fit. <laughs> so I got a new one. And <laughs> and I was noticed by uh, Zio Troop, a uh, casting director, and they asked me if I'd want to do a screen test, and I said, sure, why not? So I read for the part of Tim Shepard. However, being from Philadelphia, where I grew up, I had a distinct style Philadelphia accent, as opposed to the uh, actors that kind of had the Midwestern yeah. style of speaking and so I didn't get that part but I told him I have a 1965 tribe and I'm a greaser show there up at is. 8 o'clock tomorrow awesome. morning at the Pines restaurant yes. and you'll be in the movies how did that change your life well after that I got called up for Rumble Fish nice. who did that movie then uh got my headshot together got my resumes together uh, I never had a problem with memorizing a script. It, it just memorization in my younger days yes. <laughs> uh, kind of kicked in and I could easily open a book, read it, close it, hand the book to anyone that wants to ask me a question about what I just read. I had that kind of that's memory. That's amazing. <laughs> well, that's what good actors it's can do. To do. Yeah. So uh, I continued my career. I uh, got in a movie with Mark Singer called Dan Turner, Detective. And I played a 1940s gangster. Oh, how cool. <laughs> so uh, it, it's been a, a pretty good career. Right. I only waited 35 years to get a leading role. Oh. Here, and uh, we did the film here in Tulsa. It was called Tulane. And the part that I portrayed was a uh, middle-aged, washed-up country and western singer that did the Grand Old Opry and he had records and the tours and he was rich and he had everything except his downfall was drugs and gambling and booze. His own band took him out into the middle of nowhere, threw him out of a car and stranded him on a two-lane road. Wow. That was an indie film. It never really did go anywhere, but at the end of it, I felt good when I got a standing over. Right. How awesome. Well, so, thank you for sharing. You betcha. <laughs> room for mess ups. Yeah, you got to have so your blocking. Keep going. Oh, and so in the movies, okay. No, that's not it. Cut, right. cut, reset back to one. This camera get a different angle. And you can spend a day doing a two minute bit, right. which is fine. It tastes good. So, <laughs> my, actually, I got paid more money for my motorcycle in the Outsiders than I got paid. My bike got $135. I got $130. What's wrong with that picture? It's a really nice bike. I do. Oh. It it's a 1965 it's Triumph. Well, uh, since then, I've upgraded from a 65 model to a 70 model. Yeah. I try to keep it. Step it up a little. Yeah, yeah. vintage. <laughs> But I well, still cool. I still ride Triumph yeah. motorcycles. I uh, had a lot of different bikes in my life, but I always keep going back to my Triumphs. Yes. There's just Trusty something about it. Oh, there's just, unlike Harley Davidson's, uh, they're okay, but Limey bikes, Yeah, that's where the action is. Um, I mean, Marlon Brando in the movie The Wild One rode a Triumph, mm -hmm. if you remember. Yeah. They're very desirable, I know. Oh, yes, they are. Look, and they're hard to find. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes. And so the one I have, I've taken care of it. I sleep with it at night. Yeah. <laughs> I feed it only the best of high-octane gasoline. Yes, I, yes. 
Yeah. I keep it polished. In the winter, I'll cover it up with blankets and rugs right. and everything. <laughs> Keeps it covered out of the rain and the snow. But when I get on it, I say, okay, sweetie, let's go. Yeah. And it's a Bonnie bill, but I call her Bonnie. Bonnie. <laughs> yeah. And she's the joy of my life. Oh, how cool. Well, thank you so much for sharing you with bet. us today. <laughs>